Hello my dear students how are you i hope you all are fine welcome you all in online class today we will revise the first chapter of your ncert book science that is the food where does it comes from let's begin today we are going to discuss what we have to learn about variety of food ingredients of food and sources of food as you know for different activities energy is very essential such as running reading walking and exercise everything energy is required energy is needed to carry out different such activities and the materials required for growth and maintenance of our body are called nutrients and actually the main thing is food that is the basic source of nutrients so nutrients are the materials that required for growth and maintenance of our body nutrients includes many things such as fruits vegetables cereals then eggs meats fish dairy products etc this all are comes under five components of food along with water such as carbohydrate protein fat vitamin minerals okay so one single food does not provide all the nutrients so what should we do so a single food does not provide all the nutrients that's why we mix all these items to prepare a food dish the materials or the materials used to prepare such dishes are called ingredients many materials are used to make a dish such as here a table is given and here the name of food items that ingredients and from where this ingredients comes from so that is the sources in case of idli is a food item that takes so many ingredients to make a idli such as rice urad dal salt and water and that is mainly the source plant idli is actually the powder of rice that's why rice is actually we are getting from plant then chicken curry chicken curry is a food item that ingredients of chicken curry are chicken spices oil or ghee and water and that we are getting from animals and uh, oil oil ingredients oil or ghee that is oil is actually uh, that we derive from plants and uh, from animals like cow cow's milk from milk ghee is obtained okay and next food item is kheer that is made up of ingredients like milk rice and sugar and both the sources milk from animal and rice from plant so now question is from where we obtain the food ingredients now the sources of ingredients including plants and animal okay from plants we are getting such ingredients like uh, rice wheat uh, pulses fruits vegetables etc okay and from animals we are getting eggs chicken fish milk meat from them okay now so students from plants we obtain grains fruits vegetables cereals etc but where they are grown they are grown in field and when same kinds of plants are grown in an area then it is known as agriculture and and the and these plants grown in an agricultural area are called crop and the crop used to obtain food is called food crop you can see here food crop there are two food crops one is rice and another is wheat okay student as you know we use different parts of plant as food example we use roots of plant leaves of plants flowers of some plant fruits seeds etc as as root we use turnip carrot beet etc as leafy vegetables we are using cabbage then uh, spinach and as flower broccoli cauliflower 
and as steam uh, such as uh, potato ginger and uh, onion these are actually steam part of the plant so we are using them as food okay and uh, also fruits we are using apples then uh, orange banana papaya and lychee etc these all things fruits are also used as food next the other parts of plants including seeds seeds you know are rice wheat these all are actually grinded then are used as our food such as idli and uh, in the in case of some spices like sauf uh, jeera or cumin these also are used as seeds okay and now we comes to know about sprouts now what are sprouts sprouts are actually obtained from seed first you can uh, just wash the seeds in the water and keep covered with a wet cloth then after one days you will see some things which is just projected from the seed outward some white colored things are these are actually the sprouts and you have to know one thing that sprouts have much more nutrients than the raw seeds so you can tell your mother to make some delicious food from sprouts seeds okay now the animals things which are used as food means the sources of food that we are getting from animals such as meat eggs milk honey etc you can see the picture also and actually often we produce different food items from a single kind of food it's just for example milk is used to prepare dairy products like butter cream cheese curd etc okay i hope you understood this video and this was your first revision class of chapter number 1 so you should go through your ncert book and also watch this video if you have any problem just ask me in the e portal i am always there for your help thank you students stay safe stay well